Hello guys and gals and welcome! So today I join you for another rune word video and I hope you're excited. I have lots of rune words as you can see in my inventory and I'll not spoil them. But um, today I am joined by Mr. Nini. He's actually in my jacket right now. He uh, He's very tired. He wanted to take a nap. Uh, he may come out to uh, to play with us later um, if he feels uh, if he feels up to it. But uh, but Mr. Nini is is uh, is very sleepy right now. He's a very sleepy little boy. So we're gonna let him take a nap. Um, and while he takes a nap, we're gonna talk about rune words. So uh, the first rune word that we're gonna be talking about today is okay. obedience. And uh, obedience is a very amazing rune word. And uh, and the reason why it's a very amazing rune word. It's because it doesn't have any really expensive runes in it. Um, the most expensive runes in this are a Foul rune and a Co rune, and those runes are actually fairly easy to come by. In fact, you probably have plenty of Co runes sitting in your stash, and probably at least one or two Foul runes, because Foul runes are not very rare either. So keep this in mind as we talk about this recipe, because we're talking about a recipe that is that hard to make. So let's go over to the website because I do want to look at the variances of this. And uh, as always, I don't want to give you guys a false impression by reading off what's on the actual weapon. Because unfortunately, when you read off what's on the actual weapon, you don't get a look at the variances of it. Good day. So first off, let's start out with the uh, recipe, which is Hell Co. Thal Eth Fal. So not bad at all. And um, very, very cheap. So when you think about this, think about the fact that it's extremely cheap, okay? So let's go down and uh, and let's take a look at the actual statistics on this. So we have a 30% uh, chance to cast level 21 enchant when you kill an enemy. And uh, we're going to have to go take a look at enchant. And unfortunately level 21 is not on the list, but we do have uh, level 20 on here. And uh, level 20 is only just just barely shy of, uh, of what we're looking at. So that'll be all right. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at level 20. Level 20 is a uh, mana cost of 44, which doesn't matter. 74 to 97 fire damage, which doesn't really matter. Uh, the fire damage is not really why you cast enchant. A duration of 600 seconds, which is pretty much 10 minutes, right? And then we have 191% uh, bonus to attack rating. So he's going to get a really large bonus to his attack rating. And we can pretty much assume that that's going to be up all the time because it's a 30% chance when he kills an enemy and there's going to be a lot of enemies dying and so he's going to have that enchant refreshing on him constantly and there's probably no way that it's going to wear off with a 10 minute duration uh, because he's going to be killing something within those 10 minutes. So uh, we also have 40% faster hit recovery which is amazing for mercenaries because mercenaries tend to have one of the most awful and I mean absolutely dirt awful uh, hit recovery uh, breakpoints. So having 40% is uh, is amazing to uh, to their their health. We have 370% enhanced damage, which is a huge bonus to the damage of the uh, of the weapon. 370% uh, is going to get you a really high number. That's that's pretty much a cruel modifier, which a lot of people will actually search for on blue items. Uh, we have negative 25% targets defense. This will help your mercenary uh, more able to hit the targets, which is definitely good. We've got uh, adds 3 to 14 cold damage, so it is going to be uh, causing uh, some of the monsters to shatter. It's not going to be every single time he kills a monster, but there will be some times when he kills monsters that they will shatter. So keep that in mind if you are a, uh, a necromancer or someone who uses corpses. Now keep in mind, though, that, that cold damage doesn't shatter very often. But Freeze's target shatters every single time. Um, and there are some other weapons we'll be talking about today which do have Freeze's target. But this one does not. So uh, not a huge big deal there. We also have negative 25% to enemy fire resist, which is going to, uh, to increase the enchant damage there, which is nice. Uh, we also have 40% chance of Crushing Blow. Now, Crushing Blow is the effect where 25% of the monster's HP that he is currently at... Uh, is taken away. And Crushing Blow ha does have some great diminishing returns. Um, so unfortunately, as the monster's HP gets lower and lower, it does less and less. But take, for instance, if you had a monster that had 1 million health and you hit him with uh, with this attack, 1 million health would reduce by 250,000. So, uh, so think about Crushing Blow as an amazing way to reduce the HP of a monster. 
However, once you've removed that 25%, that 250,000, he now only has 750,000 HP. So the 25% that is going to be taken off on the next hit is going to be 25% of 750,000, and so forth and so on. And you can imagine that if a monster only has 100 health and you hit him with a crushing blow, it's only going to be 25 damage. So the, the diminishing return on crushing blow is a constant, never-ending, you know, just, just, just all the way down to the point where it does pretty much nothing. Crushing Blow is great for those monsters that have huge hit point pools, but it is not so great for those monsters who have uh, tiny hit point pools. It's good for bosses, mind you. Um, we also have 200 to 300 extra defense, which is a variable, um, and that is actually really sweet because um, having extra defense on your mercenary means they're going to get hit less. Plus 10 to strength and plus 10 to dexterity is good because that will allow your mercenary to equip more gear. Uh, the 10 strength specifically. Uh, the 10 dexterity not so much because it's usually the weapons that require dexterity and this is obviously the weapon. Uh, we also have all resistances 20 to 30 and uh, while all resistances isn't extremely important on a mercenary because um, once you get them usually to around like level 90 they're usually pretty high on resistances. Having 20 to 30 on there is definitely not something that I would uh, be, be mad at. Um, and it's going to uh, overcap them if they're already at the cap. And overcapping them is important for things like lower resistance, curses, uh, conviction monsters, and things like that. Especially if you want them to, uh, to stay alive if you're fighting Uber Mephisto. Well, we also have a negative 20% requirements, which is very, very nice. And that, of course, comes from the Hell Rune in the recipe. And 20% uh, requirements is going to mean that, that your mercenary is going to be able to use this a little bit sooner than he might otherwise be able to. Uh, Mr. Nini woke up. What's up, Mr. Nini? Did you have a good nap? So let's take a look at this weapon. <laughs> um, he's uh, he's still a little sleepy. So uh, we have here a very, very nice weapon. Um, unfortunately, it is, of course, uh, something that can be broken. So you cannot use this on actual players um, if you were put it in an ethereal item. Now, um, there's a lot of good stuff going on here for a mercenary. Um, or maybe a pole arm barb if you wanted to make one for a pole arm barb at a non-ethereal item. Uh, we've got the faster hit recovery, which really, really helps them stay alive. We've got the enchant, which gives them tons of extra attack rating, make sure they're landing their hits. Uh, we have tons of enhanced damage, so 385% enhanced damage, which is um, which is a really high percent. Uh, and you notice that it's higher than the 370% that we were talking about on the website. And that's because this is in a superior uh, item. So it has an extra 15% on top. And it uh, looks like Mr. Nene wants to go back to sleep. So let's put him back in his house. Hold on, Mr. Nene. I got you. He likes to sleep in my shirt. That's really all there is to it. There you go, buddy. I know. <laughs> He's nibbling on things in there. So combined, the 40% in, uh, increased faster hit recovery, <laughs> the 40% faster hit recovery, combined with the 40% uh, crushing blow, um, the all resistances, the strength, the enchant, all of it together makes for a very, very awesome item for a mercenary. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, is it better than some of the alternatives? Um, you know, we've talked about some other really nice pole arms, and um, and this particular pole arm is a very cheap one. And as I said at the beginning of this video, keep in mind that this pole arm is very, very cheap. Um, you only really have to put in a co rune and a thul rune, uh, a co rune and an a foul rune. Sorry, he's uh, he's he's, he's squeezed, squeezed out of there, didn't he? And uh, and for just a co rune and a foul rune, you have a very solid mercenary weapon. You don't really have to worry about it too much because he's doing a massive amount of, of damage with his crushing blow. Um, he's got a huge defense bonus there of plus 300. He's got the faster hit recovery bonus. He has lots of attack rating to make sure he's hitting his targets. He's got lots of uh, all resistances so that he can uh, and stay alive. Um, and just in general, I think if you pair this up with some very nice other pieces of equipment, like perhaps a duress to really really stack on the, uh, the crushing blow, or if you pair this with a... Uh, a treachery for the increased attack speed. I, I think you will find that this particular rune word is very, very effective on a mercenary, and like I said, very, very cheap. So keep in mind uh, this rune word when you are looking for a weapon for your mercenary, because this one is actually quite amazing uh, for those 
those cases. Now, the obedience rune word also can be used on a polearm barbarian if you were looking for a very, very nice polearm for your barbarian. Um, it doesn't have any increased attack speed on it, though, and that might turn you away you know, from the Barbarian, and this is another reason why you might want to pair it up with a Treachery, as opposed to a, something like a Duress or a Fortitude, so that the Mercenary has faster attack speed. Um, if the weapon itself already has attack speed on it, that's one thing, uh, but because this does not have any increased attack speed on it, you're going to have to either A, put it in a faster weapon, like perhaps a Thresher or a Giant Thresher, um, or B, you're going to have to give him some attack speed bonus so that you can make up for the fact that the weapon is so slow. Um, this particular rune word, I think, is uh, is a very solid choice for mercenaries, especially if you are having a little bit of trouble with bosses. Uh, the 40% chance of crushing blow is definitely going to make the bosses a lot easier. So keep that in mind. Anyway, as always, I hope that you enjoy these rune word videos and, uh, and look forward to my next rune word video because we're going to be going over quite a few rune words today. <laughs>